Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to the inside of our 1988 slash 2022 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home. As you guys know, I have talked about wanting a propane fireplace or a fireplace of some sort in our home. We had a old wall mount one before we moved to Tennessee, but we took it out and we've not put one back in. Well, we're getting into the winter months and I really want a fireplace. So, question, is what? this going to be our primary heat source for the house? Is that your goal? No. We have many splits that do the primary heat. I want something that I can fire up in the morning when I come in and my toes are cold. Okay. So you want a space heater <laughs> that's pretty looking, right? Yes. Okay. To give the ambiance. Just clarifying for people out there who may wonder. <laughs> so we got one. How exciting. I am so excited to see what it looks like, get it put in, and get it hooked up soon, hopefully. So, come along with us as we get this little booger put together and hooked up. I can feel your excitement. You're like, so wired. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So before we get started, let me show you where our propane heater used to be. It used to be right here going into the kitchen. It was like a blue flame wall heater but we don't have that anymore. Let me show you where we're gonna put my fireplace. Right here. And it'll be big enough space that we can put the TV above it and it'll just be great. This one came in a box, so we need to unbox it and put it together. Having some fun too. <laughs> now can I open it? Uh -oh. This is a huge alley. So you guys got that unpacked in record time? Yes. That was nice. It was a fury of styrofoam plastic and things and I was just in the corner hoping not to get hit. So here's a look at the color of the finish of the mantle that surrounds the fireplace. I think it's probably what a mocha. mocha or espresso colored. It's a very dark brown color and it's a pretty color but it's not really something that matches the decor of our home. We're going to go ahead and assemble the mantle and everything as it is right now. Give it some time to sit. And if we change our mind that we really can't stand the espresso, which we probably are truly leaning that way, then, hey, I know a guy that has a workshop. He can easily take it over there and work on probably stripping down and refinishing it or painting it. Because we're trying to think in that white would be much prettier. It would match the rest of the decor. It would. And we had looked for that, but that wasn't something that was really in the price range that we were looking for. Or the size of the fireplace. This is True. A, a small one. So... We went ahead and got it, knowing that maybe in the future we were going to go ahead and paint it what we wanted it. We have been known to customize off-the-shelf stuff in the past, like yes. our dining room ceiling fans. So, hey, 
we're not scared to customize this one either. Right. Our living room is kind of small in house standards. So we pretty much only have one place that we can put the fireplace, but it turns out that we really like that place. And it is going to go right here. Hold the phone. What about the TV? The TV is going over it. Ooh, that's right. We are going to give it a try and see how the TV mounts above a fireplace. We've been doing a lot of research and you're not going to find a manufacturer that'll tell you, yeah, put your TV above it. It's safe. They're not going to pay for your TV. We've done some research as far as, you know, heat movement from these style stoves and are going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work or is an issue, we've already got some fixes in mind mm -hmm. and we're going to make it work regardless. One of the big things is, is that the fireplace is going to sit in front of our TV, not flush with right so most of the heat is going to go in front of the tv not right on it right there's also a blower unit that we can buy and add on to this fireplace it's something we have to order but it's something we're considering getting anyway that way it helps to push the heat forward and into the room rather than just you know rise let it sit I've looked through the instruction manual and it doesn't seem like there is a set sequence that you have to put everything together. So we're just gonna kind of put it together how it feels good. I'm gonna start out by putting this little hood on the box. Before we knew it, assembly was done. It was literally like 11 screws. So we're gonna go ahead and move the TV and entertainment center out of the way and put this one in its place. Pivot, 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 pivot! <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yes. Yeah. I was just praying my toes didn't get mushed. <laughs> Fifteen and a half. Okay, what do we got? Fifteen and a quarter. So let's move it an eighth of an inch. Good. It's pretty good to eyeball it. Nothing says quality like an old sheet of plywood on top of a fireplace to hold your TV in a single wide. Baby, you're living. This is, this is the pinnacle. <laughs> our TV is bigger than our fireplace. It is. But we have a fireplace. Sorry. <laughs> we do. Uh, we are also planning to mount the TV on the wall. Uh, we've already got the TV mount and everything, but honestly, it's running kind of late in the day. 
we are ready to just sit it there and be good enough done with this portion of the install. Um, as far as our next steps, we need to actually connect the gas pipes and everything for this install. That's going to be a separate video because my brother is actually a professional gas piper, has his own business, and I said, hey, do you want to come install some pipe for us for free? And I don't know, maybe I'll shoot you some promo videos for your business. And he said, sure. So we're gonna make that a standalone video. I'm sure he will have a ton of information to share and will be a great video for tons of education and to see how it should be done professionally. If you are interested, there will be a link to this stove down below where you can check it out and possibly purchase it. I don't know if it is available everywhere, but we'll at least give you the link to where we got it from. Well guys, thanks for coming along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See ya. Bye. What you doing? Um, I like to play on the Christmas tree, and this is my guy to play with, and I got eyes to show where it is, but that one is a little bit too high. So if you see this, that where my Captain America home is, and over here where the other eye is, below it is Captain America's gun section. Nice. So our Christmas tree has Captain America and guns. Yep. That sounds great. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, and welcome to our channel. Well, and what, what do you say? So here's a look at the Fentish. Fentish. There you go. <laughs> Fentish. What is a Fentish? I'll step in for the intro, and then I'll step out, and you can do the talking oh. talk. Well, no, just stay here, and oh. I'll talk. Oh, okay. It's from Fintia. Are you finished? I looked at you, now I'm going to be giggly. We aren't quite sure that the finish of this is going to blend with our... I don't know. However, I think we're going to go ahead and assemble it. We're going to assemble it. <laughs> Just put it down. With the finish. <laughs> yeah. You go ahead and talk about assembly of the finish here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a cold or something. <laughs> Nothing old. <laughs> no, no.